So here I just wanted to show you like what to do when we have more than 500 articles and as I said earlier like we can group them in different text file like for instance here I have four as you see so we had about I think fifth close to 2000 articles and that's why we had to make four four groups four four text files you know so now I'm going to ex upload one in the his site so I'm in the his site actually I am currently in the his site add file platform so if you can see here I, I was in the file and adding file I click browse and I'm here so I'll use the first one so and I use add so you see I have 329 articles and then I will go and add more I will add next 424 I think so in total it is now 753 I will go and add more here this one add file of 1238 and go and add file and the fourth one now comes so in total I have 1523 as you see that's why we have to four, four, four text files because it's more than 1500 and we cannot have more than 500 in each of the text files when we use it in his side and just remember like you have to make sure that you are you have not picked records two times you have not picked a single record two times you know when you extract it when you mark your articles in the ISI web science database then you have to make sure that you are not picking duplicates you know and we have made it sure we were two researchers doing this so we were like really we did it in a very rigorous way so you have to do the same and here are other things you can do the same way like you can check out the real the output document type languages institution level analysis country level analysis so you can do all other things you know like you see here we have 1500 articles we can turn on the bibliometric tool and see the most cited article this is in the journal of operations management the, the top journal in the field of supply chain and operations management and then we have this graph maker if we focus on only 30 articles then we can make the graph with the top sided 30 articles as you see here we can do the same things we can change the node size to 20 year also 20 i guess and arrowhead i would increase it a little bit i'll make it one and scale i'll make it two and click again make graph things have changed these are more visible visible now and these numbers are also more visible but you can increase it even more you know like let's make it 25 and 25 and maybe 1.5 here 2.5 my graph looks much better isn't it so now what I would do I would copy this I would print screen this and I will like I would, I would come up with the with the with the with the methods and theories in all these papers and i will draw it in a nice nice picture you know i, I can show you a, a, i can show you what we have done in the end and how it looked in the end so in the end you see it looked like this here we have the clusters each of them identified and here this is the figure this is how we put it in the in the in the in the main article the submitted version you know all the abbreviation of the methods are here and all these notes each of the nodes are here the citations are here and so now here you can read it better I think this is one cluster and this is another cluster and another cluster and uh, another cluster the top methods most used methods in the clusters the abbreviations are down in the table as you have seen you see and yeah we have like six clusters here so I think th this is how you should put it in, in the article and here we have these years and number of articles published in that here 
so yeah that's how you should put it and with the journal rankings and other uh, other informations a table like this would fit very nice I think you know so you can make a table like this the journals their number of published articles and citations per year and how you ranked here this ranking is by number of publication and there this ranking is citation local citations per year and you put the abbreviations here so this is how you put this information in the in the articles and here are the top authors in the in the recent years like it is based on i think total local citation and also else here like we made a combination when the total local citation was same for two articles then we used the lcr yeah to rank like in this case and in this case so thank you for watching if you find it useful please like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel and you can subscribe to our newsletter in our website www.dresearchhub.org and please follow our facebook page for a lot of information and conference and courses and yeah many lot of things PhD scholarships and a lot of things thank you bye bye